Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Today it is Monday Mail Day, and I am here with a pack opening machine. Hi. <laughs> we have a huge, huge, huge package here Ooh. from Three Good Nerds, and it is addressed to CW and POM, so that is why we are both here. I think what we're going to have to do, this is so big, it, it almost doesn't fit on the table. So I think what we're going to have to do is open it up and then I'll I'll put it over here and take everything out of it and put it on the table because I don't think there's room for the box and then to unload the contents. What do you think? Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty enormous. A huge thanks to Justin and Three Good Nerds for uh, sending this out to us. I cannot even imagine what you have put in this box it's it's huge it is enormous and i am it's been sitting here for about a week and i've been super excited and waiting to get into this and so is the pack opening machine yeah I have. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> he's asked me several times when are we going to open that so today is the day we get to open that if i can get into here it's not quite a there must of, be so much. There must be. This is quite a lot of people in here packed very securely by Justin, and I appreciate that. I have to come over to this side of the camera to the usual uh, layer of pack opening machine and see if I can get into this from that side. There we go. And then back to my usual area so as not to invade too much the space of the POM. All right, let's see if we can get in here. All right, that looks pretty good. There we go. Whoa, there's some stuff that has... Can you pull that out for me? Thank you, sir. What is that? It's right on top, and it is a Cal Ripken Jr. card. That is a... Uh, I believe that's a Hostess card, if I'm not mistaken. What is this? Oh, it's a Fleer Bay... Oh, no, there are several cards in here. All right, well, we'll open that in a minute. That looks awesome, and uh, I'm excited. What is this? This is Whoa. what is going on here. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what we have. Okay, there's a note. I'll start with that before we start unloading all of this. This looks uh, completely nuts. To CW on the pack opening machine. What does this say here? Dear pack opening machine. What? What? What is all this? Unbelievable. I was aimlessly walking around my house today and ran across this box. I picked it up and thought. What could I do with a box like this empty box? I held it high in the air and carefully examined it from all angles. Is it a new box? No. Is it a box that would be recycled? Maybe, but not yet. And I thought to myself, I knew the perfect use for this box. It was the perfect size and shape for a few items that I thought were out of place here in Texas and should be sent to you immediately. <laughs> Unbelievable. I hope you enjoy everything and that it helps keep the fun and learning going during your spring break. Well, you just got back from spring break, but it's not quite over yet. We still, uh, well, I guess it's Monday, so I guess it is technically over. You had school today, so I guess that is the end of spring break, but you still have a lot of, uh, a lot of time after school, and I'm sure that you will get into these things. CW, most of the contents of this gently used box are for the pack opening machine, but there is a little something for you and lots of fun things that you can do together. If the POM enjoys them, a little birdie told me where to find some more. <laughs> I hope this finds you and your family well and brightens your day a bit. Happy ripping, your friends, Justin and the Nerds, the official POM fan club of Texas, founding members. What? <laughs> you have your own fan club? This is an awesome letter. Thank you very much, Justin. I'm going to put that right up here where I keep all of the great letters you sent. All right. There's a note. So let's... Let's get to unloading this uh, amazing box and see just what is in here. There's a bunch of bubble wrap. I'll reuse that for sure. Some more bubble wrap. Excellent. A lot of bubble wrap. Okay, wow, this is completely nuts. I'm going to move the box off the table and then unload everything onto the table. How does that sound? Is that a good plan? Yeah. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Pack opening machine is kind of jump, jumping up and down right now because he can't contain his excitement. <laughs> Pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to lower the camera too and uh, change the focus so that we get the usual view that you guys have grown accustomed to. There we are. All right, let's see what's in here. Justin, this is completely over the top, my friend. I don't even know how Ooh. you crammed all of this in here. All right, what's the first thing? This is enormous. 
This is a, uh, what is this? Colorful chemistry set. It looks like you can do all kinds of color mixing and making art and I've never seen this. This has all kinds of cool stuff in here. Look at that. Wow. What do you think of all this? I think it's kind of cool. It looks kind of cool. I have never seen this before. Wow, thank you very much, Justin. This is awesome. Oh, you're going to have fun with this. I don't know if we've ever mentioned this, but the pack opening machine is an award-winning STEM project maker at his school. <gasps> <laughs> it's true. I... <laughs> you really are. It's pretty crazy. All right, what is this? This is also quite large. Look at this. This is a... Whoa crystal chemistry garden set you can Ooh. grow crystals in the in the garden that you make overnight and this has a bunch of well, this even has some special rubber gloves that you're going to need to wear this looks pretty intense that looks awesome i've never seen anything like this have you no no i have not either what do you think that looks really cool wow thank you justin this is nuts where did you even get this stuff this is amazing Man, you're going to have some fun with this. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. That looks very exciting. All right, so oh, and here's more uh, more crystal growing. What is this? This is uh, make your own growing crystals. And it looks like you make them, wow, you make them right in like a, a cooking pan or something. Wow, that looks amazing. Wow. All right, well, I'll leave that one up here because it actually fits on the table. We've got to get to those Ripken cards in a minute. I know, what is this? Ash's City Atlas for Pokemon. <laughs> A guide to the towns and cities of the Pokemon world. Wow, look at this. That looks awesome. That looks really awesome. I bet you're going to be doing some reading on that. Yeah. That looks really cool. We I've never seen that book. Have you ever seen that? No, I haven't. That looks really cool. All right. All right. Well, I'll pass that over to you because I can tell you want to get your hands on that. Yes. And check that out. This is nuts. All right. There's another book in here. What is this? Whoa. Check this out. This is right up your alley. The Incredible Dinosaur Activity Book. All right. Dance of Joy happening now at the pack opening machine. This is, uh, wow. There are mazes. Connect the dots. Okay. Wow, okay. I think this one's probably going to win as to what... Yeah, he's itching to get his hands on this. Here you go. <laughs> the double claw comes out for that one. <laughs> that looks awesome. Justin, this is this is like Christmas or something. This is completely... Uh, I can't even believe it. There's still more in here. What is this? This is a uh, 3D Ooh. dinosaur puzzle you can make. Now, what creature is that, do you think? It doesn't say... Uh, it's a T-Rex. It's a T-Rex? Okay. Wait a minute. It has three fingers. So, so what does that not, mean? It's not a T-Rex? That means... Hmm. I'm not actually sure what that is. Hmm. Okay. What does three fingers signify? Is there a special name for that kind of dinosaur usually? Well, not always, but it kind of reminds me of Allosaurus. Okay. Allosaurus. So it could be that. I don't All right. know. Very good. All right. Wait, this no. Is... No? It's a raptor because it has a toe claw. It's a raptor because it has a toe Look. claw. Oh, yeah, I see that. So All it right. must be a velociraptor. All right, mystery solved. Thank you for figuring that out. T dinosaur detective over here, pack opening machine. Mm. Pretty awesome. All right, so these are uh, Happy Meal Squishmallow toys, and I have a feeling that these are for your sister, who we don't have a name for as far as the show goes because she's never appeared on it yet because she's only two. And uh, I think that she's going to enjoy these. What do you think? Yeah, she yeah, might. I think she'll she'll have a good time with these. Thank you for thinking of that, Justin. That is, this is overwhelming. I got to say, this is really just completely nuts. And there are still two items in here I got to take out. What do we have here? And here. All right, let's see what all this is. This is CW. So we'll get to that in a minute. And this one is pack opening machine. All right, you want to do the honors and be the box opening machine or the the tin opening machine? I'm not even sure. This looks like some sort of a, it feels like it's metal. What do you think? Uh, It's metal. It is metal. All right, very good. All right, go ahead, go to it. Let's see what is in there and I'll take care of that. Can you get into it or do you need some help? We don't usually open tins on this channel, so this is very interesting. 
All right, it. there we go. Whoa, are these packs? Look at that. Unbelievable. Look at all these packs of cards. All right, let's 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 check this first. Whoa. What is this? Whoa. These are Dinosaur King cards. Do you want to open those? Yeah. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm going to put the Ripton cards over there and put that back here. I cannot wait to go through these packs. This is an amazing amount of packs. So these are these are dinosaur cards. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Thank you. What uh, what is that? It's a bunch of these. It's a bunch of these. Well, have you flipped them over? Let's see what's on the other side of them. Oh, Whoa! Look at that. All right. So we've got looks like a lot of different dinosaurs on here. It looks like I'm going to bring these up to the camera so people at home can see them. Looks like these are uh, part of a card game. There's some Triceratops action there. Whoa! Wow, indeed. Look at that. That's called a Zunaceratops. Have you even heard of that? Uh, no. I have not either. That is very interesting. Wow, look at this. These are amazing. I've never seen these cards before. I'm gonna have to ask Justin where he got these. Well, that's fierce. Look at that. Oh, it's... I think it's the Spletosaurus. You know that one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. I know that one. I've not heard of that one. All right, I'm going to put that here for you and then see what else is in here. This is, uh, ooh, stickers. Cool stickers. Put that over here. Reggie, that's awesome. I collect Reggie. That's so cool. Oh, and that's Reggie with some cartoons. I'll have to tell you about Reggie Jackson. We haven't really covered him very much, but we will do that now. More Reggie there. That is awesome. And, uh, we got, oh, that's a, I think that's a Nolan Ryan foil card. That's pretty neat. See if I can get that to show up. Be hard for my camera to pick up the hologram on that. I think you're just getting images of my camera on there, but that's a cool card. And then there's Reggie again with Bugs Bunny. That's pretty neat. Well, thank you, man. All right, I got to see what these packs are. Pack opening machine is uh, very, very uh, into the dinosaur cards. He's checking those out. While he does that, I, I cannot believe this enormous stack of packs that is in this tin. This is this is crazy. This is. Uh, it's a ton of Pokemon cards. I cannot even believe this. All right, we got Scarlet and Violet here, as well as more Scarlet and Violet, more Scarlet and Violet, some Paradox Rift, three of those as well. And then we've got this. Is this Japanese? Yeah. Are these Japanese packs? This is part of the game. It's part of the sure. game? Yeah, the dinosaur cards are? Well, you know, Pokemon cards are part of a game too, so maybe they have something in common. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, these are Japanese packs. Where did, oh, cool. where did Justin even get these? That's nuts. And then the second part of the stack here is Darkness Ablaze, Crown Zenith, Obsidian Flames, Paldea Evolved, Paradox Rift. Two of those, three of those. Wow, look at that. That is a ton of Pokemon packs. <laughs> Unbelievable. Justin, this is way overboard. I can't even... This is... That is a crazy amount of packs. I'm going to put those in there. And Japanese packs, I don't know where you came across those. That is nuts. All right, definitely a huge happy dance going on over here with the pack opening machine. You can probably see it shaking the camera. There's a huge dance going on. <laughs> okay. All right. I am... This is this is beyond overboard. You've really... Uh, this is nuts. This is so much stuff. I can't even believe... I mean, I haven't even looked at this box, which is the, the part of it that's addressed to me. I want to look at this Ripken uh, group of cards here and see what's in here. I'll put this over here and pull these out. Check these out. I think that is a Hostess card, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look at that and uh, see if I'm right. Yes, it is Hostess there. And uh, that's in really nice shape. Those are often off-centered, but that one's very nice. There's a Clout insert card from Pinnacle of Ripken. And uh, that's a pretty good one. I like that. And uh, there's a Fleer Baseball MVP of Ripken as well. I'm actually not sure I have this one. This one does not look familiar to me, so that is hugely exciting. Anytime I get a Ripken that I don't already have, I am pretty pumped. I'm going to have to check. I, I, that one does not look familiar to me, so I'm very excited about that. And I'm just going to put those right here in the middle and then get into this tin, which has Umbreon on it, which is my favorite Pokemon. I can't even believe that... Justin would remember that, but I guess I guess I'm not that surprised. He's extremely thoughtful and considerate, as you can see by this completely crazy generous package here. Let's get this out of here. 
Now, what is this? Packs of wild card matte football from 2022. I've never opened this before, so I'm definitely going to open some of those on the show today to see exactly what those are like. And this Umbreon tin is awesome. I'm going to put this back here. So that is real. I, there's so much stuff. I, I just have a tiny space left on the table to even work with. This is unbelievable. All right, so more Ripken cards. I'm going to have to get into these. This is great. This is a ton of Ripken. I can't even believe this. Justin, you have you have gone way overboard. If you have not seen Three Good Nerds in Action, you need to check out their channel. I, I know that most of you have already seen them and subscribed to them, but if you don't, they are awesome. They open all kinds of stuff. They do openings in the car pickup line, which I've thought about doing myself, but I usually, that's my reading time. That's when I usually read, so I probably will just stick to doing openings here in the familiar surroundings of the Wolf Lair. So Ripken Dominator's card from Donruss. I'm not sure I have that one. Old school. I like that one a lot. That describes me perfectly. That is a great Ripken card there that I did not have. That is awesome. And here we got Cal Ripken on the Mosaic card. Very nice. I like that one a lot. This is a this is one I do not have. This is from 92. It is from French's and it is Cal Ripken Jr. and Ozzie Smith. Both Hall of Famers, of course. Both uh, all-time great shortstops. That is fantastic. I I don't know if I've even ever seen that card. That is an awesome card. Oh man, that is great. This is from, uh, I believe, 2023 Allen and Ginter. And I really like the design on these cards. I've mentioned that before when I've opened this horrible product that I really like the design. So that is, that is awesome to get a Ripken. I didn't know they made a Ripken in that. And Jamal Lewis, that's really cool. Jamal Lewis draft pick card. Jamal was a really great running back for the Ravens. And this is a Topps 2000 card. That's really sweet. Very nice to see that. Those are awesome. Let's get into this pack of Ripkins and see what awaits us here. This is a ton of Ripkins. We got, this is National Baseball Card Day Tops Gallery Ripkin. And I'll get that in focus for you. Very nice. We got uh, Absolute Baseball Cal Ripkin Jr. there. I think that is a green parallel, I believe. And here's an Icons Ripkin. I don't have that one. So that is a really nice addition right there. Cool Papa Bell. Awesome. Check that out. Get a Cool Papa Bell card from Absolute. That is really nice. I like that one a lot, and I don't think I have it. So that is great. Here's another Ripken from Upper Deck Masterpieces. That's really cool, too. And what do we have here? Wow, that's a Cool Brooks. Classic numbers from Flair Greats. I don't think I've ever seen that one, so that is... Uh, that is really nice. That's from Fleer 2003. Now, I've never run across that card before, and I really like it a lot. That is an awesome card. Put that in front of Umbreon. I like that one quite a bit. Nice upper deck top 50 contemporaries cards. That is pretty cool. I like that one. And then there is a uh, season highlights card, and that is the foil version, which uh, is definitely a little rarer. The flat paper version is is the common one. I'm not sure I have the foil version. I'll have to check that. Nice Brooks Robinson card in the uh, the big head format from Gaudi Heads Up back in the day. This was an upper deck kind of reiteration of that. That is really sweet. And a nice Ballpark Heroes card from Flair Greats. Awesome Cal Ripken there. Now one more stack of Ripken cards to go through. Pack Opening Machine has been over here just going through all of his dinosaur cards and going through all of the cards that are in that stack. What do you think? I like them, and I figured out something interesting about Displaydosaurus. What did you figure out? Its name means Frightful Lizard. I think that's kind of weird, because there are a lot of other dinosaurs that are terrifying. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Here's 2018 Alan and Ginter Cal Ripken Jr. Awesome card there. Oh, and that's a nice one. Really nice card there and the throwback design. I like that a lot. Even the backs they do in throwback, which is why I like them so much. Brooks Robinson there from Tops, And I'm not sure if that's a blue parallel. I believe it is, but it's hard to tell. They never put names of these things on the back. Nice mastery card there from Mosaic. That's a cool Brooks. Carbon Jr. from Fleer back in the day. Donruss 1987 highlights card. Very sweet. Tops 1988 mini. And these were stickers, I believe. Yes, they are. And so Cal is on the back. What is... Oh, that's a... Wow, that's awesome. That is a miscut. Look at that. That is really well, that's... cool. That's a pretty severe miscut. Yeah. That is great. Boy, I'm pumped about that. And it looks like... 
looks like the back is is not at all right wow that is awesome love getting that one you're gonna check that one out i saw the claw about to come out to grab that one yep uh-huh somebody else in the family likes miscuts now too i think this is a very cool crash the game card from upper deck collector's choice Really beautiful card there. Look what else Happy they did. Happy to get that. Did you notice this? There's a random T right here. <laughs> I see that. I think it cut off the TM. Another uh, collector's choice card of Ripken. Here they are. There was a subset that they did, and I will have to check and see how many of those I have. I think I have the set, but I'm not sure, and I know not all of mine are in great shape. Here's another miscut. Pete and Cavillia Diamond Kings cards with Jose Guzman. Kind of creeping up there too. That is a very nice miscut. I like that one a lot. These miscuts are great and they are definitely hard to find. Here's a really cool Topps lineage card. I actually don't think I have this one either. Now was this playing era? I'm not sure. This is 2011 so not playing era but one I really like a lot. I like the big big uh, gold trophy there. That is a beaut. Jose de Jesus. That's a really good one. Look how badly miscut that is. That's a Whoa. sweet one there. That is great. It doesn't even fit the holder. It's so miscut. No, that one's that one's a real beauty. I like that one look quite at a lot. This. And look, it connects the to next this one. Card. That is really cool. Wait, it, it does. does? Connect to, yeah. Can you see? Look, Whoa. Connects to the next card. I and don't. Then look at this. Yeah. That one connects to another card. It does. That is awesome. That is great. Finding cards that connect like that is exceedingly difficult. I don't know where you came across these, Justin, but this is this is a real, real treat for my miscut collection. I am super pumped about that. That is really awesome. Here's an Obak Tristar Ripken, or not Ripken, Robinson. Get my players right here. And that is uh, very cool as well. The York White Roses from Baltimore. <laughs> that is pretty neat. In 55, Brooks began his pro career with the York White Roses of the Piedmont Leagues. That is a uh, updated minor league card of him. That is neat. I don't have that one. I've never seen that before. Printing proof card of a Topps Gallery Ripken. Very nice, very nice parallel there. I like to see that. And then our last card is a, wow, that is a relic card of Cedric Mullins, and it is numbered to 400. So that is really sweet. What a nice card. I see the claw coming out to examine that one more closely. It has a piece of the uniform. You're right, it does. That is a really, really nice card. Super generous. My goodness. This is this is an overwhelming number of cards. I, I really... I hardly know what to say, Justin. This, this package, it was a huge box that had been sitting here, and I thought, well, there must just be like one maybe large thing in there. There were a bunch of large things in there, and then piles and piles of packs and cards. This is, uh, thought I'd get into one of these mat cards today, but uh, I've already gone well over the 20 minutes I usually allot for myself for episodes. So I think we're going to do that. Maybe uh, maybe I'll do that on Anything Can Happen Day. We'll open some of these Pokemon cards and some of these mat cards as well. Justin, this is, this is amazing. I, I, I hardly even know what to say. This is just unbelievably generous. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, very much. This was just awesome. What, what do you think? Yeah, I think it was really, 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 really good. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of excitement over here. You can't see it on camera, but there is a lot of excitement going on over here. Thank you. This is just uh, overwhelming. We're going to have a good time with all of this stuff. Again, if you haven't been over to Three Good Nerds, check them out for sure. Wonderful people. Justin, thank you so much. I'll be back here tomorrow with uh, something to open. Maybe I'll open them tomorrow. Maybe I'll open some of this stuff tomorrow. I don't really have anything planned, so maybe that's what we'll do. I don't know. We'll get to this tomorrow or Thursday for sure. We'll get into some of this Pokemon and some of these wild card mat cards, and I'll see you back here then. As always, happy collecting.